momentarily. So please sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. <laughs> Yeah, she see it. You see it. Can I sit here? No. In the old times, when it was full of subjects who wished to the thing on the mantle, there was a king whose battle was so beautiful that even the flowers were put to shame. Near the royal castle, there was a great dark wood, and when the day was hot, the king's daughter used to go forth into the wood and play by the cool water. There, she would take out a golden ball and throw it up and catch it again, for this was her favorite pastime. She's going to throw it and go up. She's going to throw it and go up. La, 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 la. Oh, how I love to play in the forest with my golden ball. It is so pretty. Forget not your promise. My wonderful golden what? Forget not your promise, beautiful king's daughter. Promise? What promise? You promised to kiss me if I should fetch your ball. Kiss? You? <laughs> yeah. But you promised. You promised. Yes, well, it's serrated. But you see, and it's sort of... Uh, uh, you promised. Oh, uh, all right. I'll write already. <laughs> the princess always keeps her word. Uh, but first, we should play a little game. Yes, that's it, a little game. What fun? Oh, well, really, I, I don't want to play a game just now. I, I think there are better oh, times. but I do so want to play a game just to simply Oh, again. well, all right, if you insist. But then you must keep your promise. Oh, of course. Now, the game is called <clears throat> Push the Froggy in the Well. I don't know how to play that game. <laughs> I will teach you such Fun we will have. Now, you stand here on the edge of the wall, mm -hmm. just like that. Good, good. Mm -hmm. And I stand right here, and then... Yes. And then I push the frog in the wall! <laughs> 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 I, the most beautiful princess in the land, should kiss the likes of him. 
I will now take my golden ball and return to the castle where I shall live, where I shall uh, <laughs> uh, hi. Forget not your promise to kiss me. No, we're not done with the game yet. Oh, no. Now, you hide your eyes and count to ten while I run and hide. No thinking. Are your eyes in? Yes. Then I shall hide. Boy, will I ever hide. One, two, a ball of ridiculous game. Three, four, five, froggy in the well. Six, seven, hide and seek. Eight, nine, ten. Here I come, ready or not. Francis, where are you? Here I come, gotcha. No, where are you? Princess! But alas, no matter where the frog Go looked, on. the princess was not to be found. He searched high and low. Uh, princess, where are you? He went in and this way and that. Ollie Ollie Oxen Free, where are you? But the poor frog could not find her. At long last, he realized that he had been tricked. The beautiful princess had not remained in the forest at all, but had returned home to her father's castle. I have been tricked. The beautiful princess has not remained in the forest at all, but has returned home to her father's castle. And so, with a heavy heart and a long sigh, <laughs> the, <laughs> the poor frog returned to the depths of his well. And soon, darkness fell. <laughs> darkness often fell quite suddenly in the olden times. The night passed quickly, and the next day dawned bright and warm. And once again, the lovely princess came forth to play about the deep well with her golden ball. La, 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 la. Oh, how I love to play in the forest with my golden ball. It is so pretty, though not as pretty as I. <laughs> what fun! Up and down, and up and down. She dropped her golden ball into yes, the well. Yes, yes, yes. And she promised to kiss me if I should fetch her the ball. That was me, don't you remember? So I fetched her the ball, and then she broke her promise and ran away. I never wish to see her again. Froggy, come back, beautiful frog. There, frog, fetch me my golden ball. Now oh, he's gone. Ugly frog. Now I shall never. And the princess was very unhappy, for she knew her golden ball was lost in the deep well forever. But suddenly, the princess stopped crying. She was struck by a thought. She wondered why the frog should desire a kiss above all the treasures she had offered him. Me thinks there is more to this than meets the eye. I remember reading a story not too long ago that was about a beautiful princess that but, kissed but, a frog. But daddy, that's not and so real. saying, that's not she took real, leave daddy. of the old that's forest and returned real. to her father's castle. Let's see. Soon she returned, bringing with her a huge volume of contemporary ah, literature. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's perfect. No, I know that story is in here someplace. Let's see. Cinderella, no. Snow White and Rose Red. No, that's not it. Ah, here it is. The Frog Prince. It says here, once upon a time, and so the beautiful princess kissed the ugly frog, and in a cloud of smoke, he was instantly transformed into a handsome prince. A wicked witch changed me into an ugly frog, and only the kiss of a beautiful princess could break the spell. Come marry me now, and we shall live happily ever after. Well, what do you know? Methinks I now know why the frog so desired a simple kiss. 
After learning what could happen, the princess did, in truth, wish to kiss the ugly frog. For even in these times, exchanging a frog for a handsome prince is a bargain not to be scoffed at. But alas, the princess could not lure the frog from the depths of his well. Hey, frog! Here, boy! Up we go! Come on! Up here, boy! Here, froggy, froggy, froggy! No! Oh, he won't come up! Now I shan't have my golden ball, nor a handsome prince! <laughs> oh, stop that racket! Be gone from my well! You broke your promise, and I shan't fetch you your golden ball! But, but, but I wish to keep my promise now! You do? Oh, yes! I will kiss you as you so requested! You will? Get ready. Here I come. The princess stepped back. The frog began to shake and quiver. And then suddenly... <laughs> the frog disappeared. And in his place there arose a handsome prince. Ooh. A wicked witch changed me into an ugly frog. And only the kiss of a beautiful princess could... Yeah, I know. Oh, I read the book already. Come, let us be married, and we shall live happily ever after. Nay, beautiful princess, the spell is not entirely broken. In order for that to happen, I must be kissed by a princess who is beautiful both inside and out. You are indeed beautiful outside, but inside you are full of vanity and would rather gaze into a mirror than upon the wondrous works of nature. Oh, I promise not to be vain. I shan't look upon myself as the most beautiful any longer. I promise. Beautiful king's daughter, your promises are weak. What you say and what you do are indeed different. Nevertheless, I shall remain a handsome prince only as long as you refrain from looking upon yourself in a mirror. Should you ever see your own reflection, then once again I shall become an ugly frog. I shall never look upon my reflection, and never after! They're dancing. <laughs> and so the princess was very happy. But then, another thought struck her. Why should I not be allowed at least one last look at my beautiful face? Surely no one would begrudge me that. Just one little peek at my reflection. And so saying, the princess walked over to the well, pretending to get a drink of cool water. Be right back, Pookie. The princess gazed at her own reflection in the water. No sooner had she done this, then the handsome prince began to shake and quiver, and then suddenly... I'm dancing. Oh no! What, what have I done? I have lost my handsome prince! Oh no! Whatever shall I do? <laughs> but then she stopped crying. The princess was struck by a sudden thought. changed him into a handsome prince by kissing him one time, then I should be able to change him into a handsome prince again by kissing him again. <laughs> Do not look so glum, ugly frog. I, the beautiful princess, will kiss you and change you once again into a handsome prince. Get ready. Here I come. No sooner had she done this, then the ugly frog began to shake and quiver, and then suddenly... She soon realized that she had made a terrible mistake. She had forgotten that the same spell seldom works twice the same way. Did you fall down? Say, did anyone ever tell you that you're a pretty handsome frog? My, you are indeed a beautiful princess. Beautiful princess frog? Needless to say, the princess was no longer vain. They were soon married and spent the rest of their days in the dark forest by the cool well. Happily ever after lived the frog prince and the frog princess. Back in the frog.